Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we are going to post-process our 3D printed part which we sandblasted a couple experiments ago. I want everyone to compare the two side by side, so I'm going to spray one side with acrylic paint and the other side with primer. Let's start. We'll start by spraying the right side with acrylic paint first. Now that we are done, let's spray the left side with primer. Once it is dry, we can see the results of the sandblasted print. Now that the print is dry, let's take a closer look at it. As we can see, the right hand side is sprayed with blue acrylic paint and the left hand side is sprayed with a coat of primer. Starting on the right, uh, we can see that some parts are actually really smooth already, especially the arm right here, the forearm. The shoulder isn't as smooth as I wanted it to be, but it's still relatively nice. You can barely see the lines. On the left hand side with the primer, the shoulder looks really smooth. Moving on to the torso part. The right hand side is smooth on some parts, but some other parts you can still see the individual layers. And this can be said for the back as well. The next is the sidearm. The lines are really prominent here with the acrylic paint. While the primer side is a lot more smooth and the lines are less apparent. If I remember correctly, I sandblasted this arm a lot more. I want everyone to remember that the media that we used in the sandblaster was actually old media and if it was swapped with new media, the results would be a lot more effective and apparent. Well there we have it, we post-processed our 3D printed part with primer and paint and the results look pretty good I would say. I can't imagine if we swapped the media how nice the print will actually turn out afterwards. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, steam challenges, and other experiments. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching, Tinker out.